Hey everyone, back again. Welcome back to another video review. This time we're going to be taking a look. It's been some time since we've done a Transformer review of any kind, not since. Oh man. Not, not since recently. Haha. -ha. Anyway, this time we are going to be taking a look at a much anticipated video review. Finally, at long last, finally, we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Generations. Voyager Class Legacy. Okay, that sounded wrong. The Transformers Generations Legacy Voyager Class Bulkhead. Whoa, it looks awesome. It really does. As you can see, his ultra mode is a a armored van. Uh, this this kind of looks like the Ninja Turtles van. Holy shit! It looks like the Ninja Turtles van. The van that died after two episodes. It just really was. Uh, depending on what. Uh, what incarnation of the of the Ninja Turtles you follow, but I really feel that this has taken some interesting cues from the last night honed. Now honed, of course, or, or hound, or hond, or yeah, hond, hound, is a very interesting character. Now Bulkhead himself, of course, is amazing. Primus will say, Primus will say, sorry, is light green, dark green, black. Autobot symbol in the front, translucent, dark blue plastic, very metallic and beautiful, yes. Um, and, uh, that's really about it, just some light gray black and that's really it. Um, comes with accessories, he comes with a, a, looks like a machine gun, his wrecking ball, and the tarp. This little tarp piece, which kind of completes the transformation, and you can just put, uh, if you wanted to, you can turn this into the mystery machine, so, uh, there you go. So uh, all in all, Bulkhead looks amazing. Uh, I really I think this is an excellent representation of him from uh, from the Prime Universe. It's amazing, but of course, but I know, and, and I know people are going to say, "Oh, why is this not the same?" Well, well look, it, it is the same vehicle. It's just it was more like a cartoony version of this vehicle in a way. Is in Prime, he was more of like a a Hummer than anything. This is more of like an armored van sort of thing. Uh, I know people are going to say, oh, what about RC? What about RC? Look, RC, I, I really thought was interesting. I'm still going to review that figure, but it's just, I, I I know people are thinking, oh, what? But there are some interesting cues with RC. We'll talk about that in a future video, but with Bulky here, it looks amazing. It really does evoke his prime self looks incredible and really looks amazing to say the least okay so we'll look at the accessories but we're as part of the transformation of course uh, you can see he owns the machine gun looks great came in like a wrecking ball <laughs> I see what I did there looks pretty good looks very accurate and what can you do and yes don't worry through Adams you will eventually you thanks to be you can now have your your, your uh, wish fulfilled, where, where uh, Legacy Bulkhead will eventually beat uh, you know, War Breakdown from Prime or Legacy Breakdown, depending on what comes after. Not the stunt to come breakdown, but the, you know. So anyway, the transformation to his robot mode is as follows. It's amazing. So what we're going to do is we're going to open the tarp and we're going to yank it off the top. The top of the top. We're just gonna be very pristine with this. And you can see it's a, a, it's a, well, it's pretty much held by the fuel tankers. Then we're gonna extend the waist like this. Now we're gonna pull this forward here, and we're gonna click the waist like that. We're gonna bend the legs forward like this. Split them, flip around the feet, and then at the same time we're gonna flip around, flip back the heels. This now this is this is the in homage to Kalo Prime when uh, when he would you know I I, I mean it, it, it'd be so amazing to you know what I mean by it, what I'm trying to say is he's amazing. It'd be so nice to just. You know, work alongside him in the future. 
then spin out the fuel tankers uh open yeah open the open this little panel here rotate around the fuel tankers lock them in close it in and even though i have long ass nails here i am trying my hardest to I'll be really careful because I, I'm not joking around here, but this is a bit of a, maybe it was designed this way, oh, I felt something there. I'll try for a couple of minutes and I'm going to go get something pointy to Oh, never mind. One heel out. Let's try get. There we go. That's much better. I was about to get my scissors to pry the heels up, but there's the heels. And then we can just take this waste piece here and plop that in. And that's the lower half of the transformation complete. Well, for now. Next thing we do is open the canopy, like the roof and such. Come to the arms here, rotate them down along these sides here and then you might you want to un that's got to be very careful of sometimes when you try to unpeg the uh unpeg the sides of the arms here the said wheels like to pop off so there we go we pop that off um, at the same time though uh, we come back to the top here Push in, push in this panel here, and then flip up the head. And th there is a bit of transformation at the back here, but we're gonna get to that as soon as we get this arranged here. So what you wanna do with the arms here is untab them, and you need to rise them up. And rising them up is a bit of a, a bit of a, a pain in, in itself because they're on these double by the hinges and such so uh shit well then <clears throat> rest in peace bulkhead rest in peace Okay, we're gonna try this again because clearly, very clearly, uh, things love to pop off the joints. And I just think that it's just so evocative of his original figure. I actually, no, it never did, but you, you can understand where my, uh, you know. So, all right, so we are just gonna get these guys' arms back into vehicle mode position here so I can get this pop back in here because basically what you want to do is part of the transformation is this is like flayed out like that like to you know but basically what you're technically supposed to do there we go leave leave those connected like and the reason is just well it is it's also evocative of his original transformation where he had wheels you know hovering above his turbines so um, now not fooling around here this can be a bit of a a worrisome bunch here um, less There we go. Sorry. Pop that up first. That's what I was trying to do. I don't know why I didn't do that. And then, oh yeah. Bend the arms down as far as they'll go. Then, after so much attempts, then you can get the arms uh, spread out. And then, you can get the... Uh, um, Um, the 
arms looked after and then fold this bit back. There's the head. Then we can click the arms into place. And then the last little bit of the transformation is connecting the said waist piece uh, into the chest like that. Get the arms, get the figure situated, and there you go. There you have uh, Ball Kid in his robot mode, and looks pretty good. It looks awesome and amazing, I'll say. Articulation wise, head can go full 360 up and down side to side. Arms go full. 360 degrees out to the side, bend at the elbow, uh, can rotate. He has wrist articulation, he has waist articulation, the legs go forward and back, out to the side, bend at the knee, it can rotate, and he has ankle tilt, up and down movement, and that is it for transformation. Take a look at his head. His head. His head looks staunchly amazing. You can see that, oh yes, it just so looks like bulkhead. It looks evocative of his original figure and looks very awesome. I just really love the detail. You can see the windshield and such. Like, oh yeah. Um, the accessories. Um, well, uh, so for the tarp itself, you can have it act as a shield, which I think that's pretty clever. Um, and then for the other accessories, um, I just like to, well, personally I like to have it like this, just like, if you have it wrapped around like this, you, I can see why, like a more of a defensive shield, this is more of an attack shield, his wrecking ball, there is a, there is a peg or, or inside the ball, and then you just want to press in, um, um, Oh, actually, oh yeah, I almost forgot. It only works in this hand, because I just, but yeah, you can, he can wield the Wrecking Ball. Uh, and yes, you saw the waist looks to lock, click into place that well, but that's fine. Um, and the weapon itself, the machine gun weapon, we could just, we're just gonna plop it on the side of the wheel here, because why not? And the uh, and the shield itself, like or the tarp shield. I mean, easily if you if you don't like it, give it a hound. You know, he'll love it. <laughs> um, and then the oh shoot, the wrecking ball itself, storage wise, um, there really isn't. Nah, what am I saying here? I. I'm a loss for words. Uh, you can't really necessarily store the wrecking ball. Well, actually, you can. Sorry, there's a peg there on the shield. I'll just put it there. It's a bit of a. It's going to be on the center peg. Oh. There we go. It likes to pop off again. Okay, shield. Stop being a. Stop being a. A, a one. A, so I'm gonna lull here and just fucking do your thing. There we go. Now we're just gonna spread it out, and then we're gonna spread it out because that is how operation happens. Thank you. So all in all, will I recommend getting a Legacy Bulkhead? Absolutely, he looks amazing. Uh, transformation looks pretty cool. His vehicle mode looks exceptionally well. His robot mode looks great. The color scheme looks very fantastic. Articulation wise, this looks great. And I like the fact that it kind of, you know, nails some nice little references to Prime, uh, Last Night, not Last Night uh, Hound, uh, hell, even, uh, shit, like, hell, even, like, some of the other, ex I think, I think the Energon, yeah, the gu the machine gun's kind of like a reference to his Energon self, because, yes, he was an Energon, he was a helicopter, but he had a... He had that same machine gun. So, anyways, all in all, I highly recommend getting this uh, figure if you can find it. You won't be disappointed by this guy. Won't be. It's incredible, and it's a great opportunity if you missed out on the original figure. So, get it if you can find him. 
Anyways guys, this is my video review of the Transfer Wars uh, Generations uh, Legacy Voyager Class Bulkhead. I will see you all very soon. I will be back as soon as possible with my next video. Yes, so take care everyone. See you later. Good day. Catch you later. Bye-bye.